you play Fortnite and you're looking for an amazing PC, you probably ask yourself what is the best PC that I can build to play esports games high FPS with no stutters. Specifically, we are looking at a PC designed to run Fortnite high FPS and of course other esports games like Valorant or CS2 while hitting consistent 160 plus FPS on average or even faster performance. This is not just a normal PC, it's a high performance system designed for esports games, specifically Fortnite. On top of that, I will be showing you simple swaps that you can make in case you want to make this PC a bit more expensive but faster or on the other hand make this PC cheaper that way you can build the perfect esports PC for your specific budget. You will find the links to all of the PC parts mentioned in today's video down below in the description box where you will find the latest pricing and availability in your region. My name is Valentino that being said let's start. First we'll start by talking about the main PC for Fortnite 360 plus FPS on average. This system is quite affordable and let's start by talking about the CPU which is one of the most important components when it comes to esports shooters. For the CPU here I went with the AMD Ryzen 5 9600X which is one of the best price performance CPUs in the entire market and it will allow you to play Fortnite at 360 plus FPS on average, competitive settings at 1080p resolution if you are using the right graphics card which I will be talking about in just a second. The 9600X is also great when it comes to content creation and streaming so if you want to do streaming while gaming in games like Fortnite or Valorant or CS2 this one will be amazing especially because of its price performance. This CPU goes for under 200 bucks and it's going to be amazing for just any task. Now the other main component is the graphics card as I said before and here I went with the Nvidia RTX 5060 which will allow you to play Fortnite at very high frame rate. Now usually I'm not a big fan of the 5060 if you want to play the most high demanding games out there on high to ultra settings but for Fortnite it's a great graphics card. I mean I have built an entire PC specifically for Fortnite last year with the RTX 4060 which is a last gen graphics card and it was able to run Fortnite at very 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 high frame rates so with the 5060 you are expecting even higher FPS and well over 360 plus FPS so feel free to go with a 1080p 360 hertz monitor and if you play at 1440p you can fit a 240 hertz display while playing Fortnite and take full advantage of it. Now the 5060 even though it's not going to be the best if you want to play on ultra settings in the most high demanding games you can easily play on high settings instead of ultra and achieve smooth performance even in those high demanding titles like Cyberpunk 2077. And then for the rest of the components here you get 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory which is going to be crucial for Fortnite and if you want to do more than just gaming especially if you want to do streaming and content creation on the side so here you get a very complete system for that then you get a one terabyte gen 4 drive which is very fast and it's going to be quite important if you want to load up games faster and in terms of cooling you get an aftermarket cpu cooler with rgb you also get plenty of airflow from the montec air 100 rgb which is one of the best cases in the entire market in my opinion when it comes to value and then you also get wi-fi included in case you don't have an ethernet cable and you have to rely on wi-fi now this pc is great overall and the price is actually quite affordable at around $936 by the time of filming. Maybe when you're watching this, the price is even lower. So I do recommend you checking the latest prices and availability from the links down below. Now, before you say anything, if $930 is a lot of money for you, which I do understand for some people, more than $900 is not a realistic budget, then don't worry because I have some simple swaps for you that you can make to make this PC cheaper and still achieve very high frame rates with no starters in games like Fortnite. And I also have a more expensive option, which I will be talking about later on. So if you have a moment to spend and you want even faster frame rates, let's say you want to achieve 500 40 plus fps on average to compete seriously in this game don't worry because i will get to that in just a second now if you are working with less than 900 dollars then i do recommend you swapping the cpu from the ryzen 5 9600 x to the ryzen 5 7600 this is an amazing cpu still it's going to achieve very high frame rates in fortnite i have tested this cpu myself last year and i was achieving very high frame rates and you also get the amd cooler which is free so you are saving some money there and then i recommend you swapping the graphics card from the rtx 5060 ti to the rx 9060 xt now, the 9060XT is not as powerful, especially when it comes to high demanding games, but for Fortnite, it's going to be completely fine and you will be achieving well over 300 plus FPS on average, even more than 360 plus FPS, so you can easily fit a 360 Hz 1080p monitor. And making these swaps will make the price go down to 840 bucks, so less than $850, and you're getting an amazing Fortnite PC. Now, it's not going to be as fast as the main system, so if you have the extra money, by all means, go with the first PC, but it's a very complete system, especially for under 850 bucks. And now, on the other hand, if you have more money to spend and you want to play Fortnite at 500 plus FPS on average, I do recommend you getting a faster CPU in the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which is one of the fastest gaming CPUs in the entire market. It used to be the fastest one not so long ago, so this CPU will allow you to play at very high frame rates. And then I also recommend you upgrading from the 5060Ti to the 5060Ti 16 gigabyte model, which has more VRAM and it will allow you to play the most high demanding games out there at high frame rates and also at 1440p. So if you want to upgrade to 1440p 9 or 
have a 1440p monitor right now and you want a great value graphics card to play high demanding games as well as Fortnite, then upgrading the graphics card will be ideal. Now, if you just play Fortnite, it's not going to make a difference, okay? So if you don't want to play high demanding games at all, then this upgrade doesn't make sense and you should save your money and go with the 5060 Ti with 8 gigabytes, which is around 100 dollars cheap. But for most people, if you're going to be playing any other game than easy to run titles, I highly recommend you having more VRAM and spending the extra. Now, the price for these upgrades will make the total price for the system go up to around 1200 USD by the time of filming, which is quite more expensive, but it's going to be well worth it, especially if you want to play at 500 plus FPS on average in Fortnite, or if you want to achieve smoother performance when it comes to the most highly demanding games out there on high to ultra settings, either at 1080p or 1440p resolution. Remember that the prices might be different when you're watching this video, so I highly recommend you checking the latest pricing and availability for all the PC parts from the links down below in the description box. And if you do not want to build a PC yourself and you want to buy a pre-built PC instead to play Fortnite high FPS with no stutter, I made a complete video talking about the best pre-built PCs that you can get to play at high frame rates. You will find that one in the top right corner of the screen. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.